Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends of Serbia, first of all, I thank you very much for inviting me to this symposium. It's an honor that you grant me and also a real mark of friendship by which I'm very touched. Just 20 years ago, your country was falling into the war because of the failure of the Rambouillet negotiations. Triggered on the initiative of NATO, without a United Nations mandate, this unjust and illegal war lasted 28 days. As a senior officer of the French Army, I was appointed as the commander of the Joint Special Forces Unit that intervened before the deployment of the French K-4 Brigade under NATO command. It is as a witness that I am speaking today, having published a few years ago a little book with a deliberately provocative title, Europe Died in Pristina. Therein you will find my testimony on this tragic period. What I want to say today, what struck me in Kosovo in 1999 was, first of all, the very large amount of misinformation of lies that preceded and justified the aggression by NATO. Indeed, it was because of the word genocide pronounced by the American President Bill Clinton and his Secretary of State, Madeleine Wright, who issued the fateful and false feature of more than 200,000 dead in Kosovo, that NATO would permit itself to attack Serbia, Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, in March 1999, after the unacceptable demands made by the Allies to the Serbs during the Rambouillet negotiations, forced them to refuse the diktat they wanted to impose on them. After the 1999 war, however, the number of casualties of all origins, regardless of ethnic group, civil or military, amounted to fewer than 2,000 at the beginning of NATO aggression, which is, of course, far too much, but has nothing to do with the genocide. What struck me then was the disproportion of military means employed by the Allied coalition against Yugoslavia. I remember, in particular, massive and endless aerial bombardments which caused so many innocent victims, not to mention the physical and psychological ones. It was clear that it was a question of forcibly proceeding to the final dismantling of Yugoslavia and the separation of the Republic of Serbia and its province of Kosovo Metohia. One could even say the amputation of one of its essential territorial entities. And not just any, because while Kosovo Metohia is today inhabited mostly by Albanians, this has not always been the case, and this province remains for the Serbs the Jerusalem, the historical, spiritual, cultural and identity core of their nation. Of course, UN Resolution 1244 allowed a de facto separation, a separate administration for an unspecified period, but recalled Kosovo membership in the Republic of Serbia. Nevertheless, the goal has been reached and it was after the anti serb pogroms of 2004 intended to continue and accelerate the ethnic cleansing. In uh, 2008, the scenario that was the Albanian rebellion supported by the Western powers, the unilateral declaration of independence of the so-called Republic of Kosovo. This new state is thus born of an illegitimate war provoked on the European continent against a European state by other European states remotely controlled by the United States of America and NATO to punish Serbia for wanting to maintain the very principle of its sovereignty and territorial integrity by fighting an armed terrorist rebellion which had developed in the province of Kosovo and Metohia. What we'll say tomorrow in France is the Department of Saint-Saint-Denis 
now mostly populated by foreigners from North Africa, intended to proclaim itself as an independent republic. This is basically the very problem that Kosovo faced. This NATO aggression against Serbia over Kosovo constitutes a violation of international law, a violation of respect for the sovereignty of states, a violation of intangible respect for borders. And this puppet state, without identify, identified resource, unsustainable as such, is now a source of very strong tensions throughout the Balkans. We see it every day or almost. The UN doesn't recognize the Republic of Kosovo, nor does it recognize a large number of states in the world, including European states that are members of the European Union. And recently, um, 13 states that recognized the Republic of Kosovo before finally gave up this recognition. Resolution 1244, which recalled as basic principles the inalienable membership of Kosovo Metoria to the Republic of Serbia, heir of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, and the necessary demilitarization of uh, so called UCK, is thus violated twice. First, by the unilateral declaration of independence of the Albanian rebels, and now by their willingness to turn their local security force into a real army. This resolution 1244 still in force prohibits it. Today, the Kosovo authorities practice a sneaky police hostile to the Serb, the Roma, and Gorani minorities. In particular, hostile to the maintenance of Orthodox monasteries and religious communities who live there and pray there. On a daily basis, it's not good to be Serbian, Roma, or Gorani in the province of Kosmet today. Surely, the so-called Republic of Kosovo is anything but a state of law or a democratic state where the rights and dignity of the human person are respected. That this purpose state is today supported with large amounts of European public money by the European Union is for me a real subject of shame and indignation. It's also true that to see his president received with great pomp in Paris for the centenary of the victory of the Great War is also a point of shame for me, grandson of two French officers badly wounded during the First War. In addition, I learned a few months ago that Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama presented at the joint meetings of the governments of so-called Kosovo and Albania in Pech the idea of a national project unification of Albania and Kosovo. Edi Rama called the Prime Minister Kosova, uh, war criminal Ramu Sharadinai, to begin to develop a joint strategy for the unification of Albanians before 2025. The old dream of the League of Frisren would it be on the verge of realization? In any case, I have never personally thought that the Republic of Kosovo has a future as such. This puppet state has no other solution than to join the bosom of the motherland, Serbia, or to merge with conquering Albania. But it would be a real holdup, as iniquitous as incredible, that would be achieved in a quarter of a century by the clans of Kosovo with the blessing of international bodies. If that were to happen, it would certainly be the beginning of a period of very great unrest, very great tensions in all the Balkans. We Frenchmen have seen in 1871 what happened to Alsace-Lorraine and duly annexed by Germany. It took nearly 50 years, then World War and its millions of deaths for this pr French province to finally return to France, the motherland. It will be the same one day with Kosovo Metoria, which has known golden age in the past, but also events throughout its history. This is why, if we want to avoid a new kinding of this region, it's essential to return to the fundamentals that UN Resolution 12 
44, very well expresses in its own way. Kosovo and Metohia is an integral and inalienable part of the Republic of Serbia that, that has a certain autonomy, uh, that is, has a certain autonomy is perfectly conceivable, but is with respect for the sovereignty of the Serbian state. The latter must be restored, and the European Union will grow up with helping the, with all its influence. It would be the only real means of guaranteeing future generations in this part of Europe a just and lasting peace. I would add that reconciliation between the different communities populating Kosovo and Metohia is only possible if the whole truth of history is restored and the responsibilities of each are well defined. That is why it seems to me essential that the judicial procedure initiated a few years ago within the European Union concerning war crimes of UCK and in particular the abominable organ trafficking denounced in the Dick Marty report and expected results uh, in uh, 20, uh, 2015 be reactivated and completed. The credibility of European Union, for my own advice, is at stake. Thank you very much for your attention.